against Florida. Game on the line, tied up third and long. Cole Taylor catches the ball. Marco Wilson makes the catch and takes his shoe and throws it 20 yards and gets an unsportsmanlike conduct to keep the drive alive. They end up losing. When we started Come On Man, this is exactly why we started Come On Man. Marco Wilson versus Bears, 11 seconds left. Lions need a touchdown. Stafford, front pylon to rookie running back DeAndre Smith. I was on the ball. It touches his hands, DeAndre Smith. I watch you, UGA, baby. You're a heck of an athlete. Right there, do you know what would have happened if you would have caught that ball in that straight state of Michigan? You could have been a hero. Come on. Football, Charlotte versus Appalachian State. Check out number 51, Peter Agave. He's giving a shout-out to Ray Lewis. But what in the Brian Dawkins is he doing right there? You talk about getting pumped up before the game? <laughs> Come on, man. It's one thing to get hyped. Then watch the coach. Hey, man, get back in the huddle. You ain't made a play yet. It's one thing to get hyped. It's another thing to go all Brian Dawkins on him. You can't do that. Get back in the huddle. Come on, man. All right, Randy, let's go. We all saw the big game. He's under pressure. He steps up. He tries to throw up, but the ball slips up, and lineman Steven Wisniewski comes down with it, and he gets a first down. And then Steven gets up. He wants this catch. He's trying to sell it. It was tipped. Nah, man, where I come from, that ain't tip ball. We're trying to make it rain right there, big guy. That's the universal <laughs> signal for I don't care what club you at. Some clubs we can't talk about, but that's when they talk about make it rain. Steven Wisniewski, make it rain, big fella. Come on, man. <laughs> All right, and the Rams have the ball on third and 15. Notice what I said, third and 15. Jared Goff throws to Cam Akers, who only gets a few yards back to the line of scrimmage. But Gerald Everett thinks it's a first down when he's looking at the sideline. Take another look. When Akers goes down, Gerald Everett is in the bottom signaling for a first down because he thinks that's a first down. Show y'all what having no momentum looks like. Ole Miss versus LSU. Matt Curl throws a touchdown to Dontario Drummond. Take a look at the bench. They got the fire signature. Man, it's an all-out party over there on that sideline. But Ole Miss is down 10. Man, this momentum. Man, Ole Miss ends up losing 53 to 48. Chiefs rookie running back Clyde Edwards Elair. They spelled his last name wrong. Notice the spelling. There's an E in there. Come on. Look at the H I. It's not Elair. It's Elair. Come on. I know the H is silent, but you got to get the next letter right. That's a former LSU running back. Put some respect on his name. One T, one heartbeat. Come on, man. He throws deep to Cyril Grayson, and the pass bounces off his head. The ball goes right through his hands and off his head, but he wasn't alone. Byron Buxton hits a pop fly in foul territory. Anthony Rizzo goes over to make the play. It rolls off the netting, hits him in the head. The ball takes a big bounce off Rizzo's head, and Jeremy Shorty hits a forehand off his partner for Breezy Martin's head. Martin takes it, a big hit off the side of his head. Heads up! Come on, man! <laughs> Saturday, Wisconsin versus Iowa. Badgers with the ball in the goal line. Nikhil Watson punches it in to give the Badgers a deficit of 14-7. Watson talking to his teammates. What happens when you score? You got to go for either one or two. Watson makes his decision. He goes for one. <laughs> Nikhil Watson. Low field. After a 30-yard touchdown run by A.J. Dillon, he goes for the Lambo lead. Hey, no problem. I'm an elite athlete. It should be not. <laughs> he gets rejected. Kind of like Adam Schefter did. And so to me, <laughs> that's why he gets a second chance. <laughs> and Al Lazard is there because Al is, what does Adam know? You need backup. And so he brought Al Lazard who just got kicked in the face. Auburn versus Mississippi State. DB Mark Emerson. He's talking trash to Seth Williams. You don't want none of me. I promise you. Your quarterback, kid, you can't touch me. Look, on, look at me. I won't. No, you don't. You don't want none of me. You do not want none of me. Very next play, Seth Williams says, you know what? I'll give you some. Seth Williams burns Mark Emerson for a touchdown. My mom always told me, son, don't write a check that you're behind can't cash. Guess what? Mark Emerson, come on. Story of life this season in the NFC East. Antonio Gibson streaks outside and then fumbles. It's a mad scramble for the loose ball. Nobody can pick it up. Look at the referee who has the ball. Jabril Peppers somehow comes out from under the pile. Logan Thomas thinks it's going one way. Leonard Williams of the Giants thinks it's going the other way. Nobody can figure it out, including the officials. They're trying to determine. Look who's got the ball. Jabril Peppers has 
the ball. But the referees can't seem to figure it out from all that mad scrambling. Nobody can get it together. First down, New York Giants. The ball's loose. This sums up the NFC East this year. Washington Giants, NFC East. Come on, man. Wearing his face shield. We all know this COVID. You got to be protected. Head coach John Gruden sporting the mask. But at some point, somebody needs to talk to my homeboy, Keith Burns. He got a pair of shorts on. Are those gym shorts? Are those tights? Come on, Keith Burns. This can't be part of protocol. Come 